Members, Mr. Jim Wells has sought leave to present a public petition in accordance with Standing Order 22. The member will have up to three minutes to speak. I call Mr. Jim Wells. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last week, the member for Belfast South, Claire Bailey, presented this assembly with a petition containing 45,000 signatures seeking a relaxation of the present law on abortion in Northern Ireland. I may add, however, that that petition was done online. There was no check whatsoever as to where the people who signed it lived, and many may indeed have been from outside Northern Ireland. Today, Mr. Speaker, I am presenting you with what I believe to be the largest petition ever received by the Northern Ireland Assembly. 300,000 signatures, not 45,000, 300,000 signatures calling for the protection of the unborn child in Northern Ireland. These have been signed by Northern Ireland residents who have given their address and can be verified. So therefore, I believe that this petition is indeed authentic. The petition that Ms Bailey presented last week calls for similar legislation as pertaining in the rest of the United Kingdom, where 8 million, 8 million unborn child children have been aborted since 1967. I am absolutely convinced that the people of Northern Ireland do not want that law to extend to this part of the United Kingdom. In the time that it has taken to make this short speech and to present this uh, petition to you, Mr. Speaker, another child will have been aborted. One child is aborted every five minutes in the rest of the United Kingdom. I think that's an awful stain on the character of our nation. 98.9% of those children are totally well, fit and able. They have been aborted on many occasions because they simply were not it was simply not convenient that they were born. Because we have the legislation we do have in Northern Ireland, because our forefathers in this chamber had the wisdom to prevent the introduction of the 67 Act, the statisticians tell us that 91,000 people in Northern Ireland are alive today who would not be here if we had abortion in demand. Their farmers, their solicitors, their doctors are making a contribution to society. They may even be MLAs, and sadly, some of them may be, some of them may be campaigning for abortion on demand. And there's an irony because they wouldn't have been here to campaign on that issue had there been abortion in demand. Mr. Speaker, this is only one box of 57 that is coming your way. So therefore, rather than bring all of them into the chamber, I've just brought this as a representation of the huge petition that I'm about to present you with. I know that you will note it and pass it on to the relevant bodies. I invite Mr. Wells to bring his uh, representative box to the, to the table. I will forward a copy of this, the full to, uh, survey, to the Minister of Justice and a copy to the committee.